Sorry, sit down. All right, we'll call the Finance Committee meeting to order. Everybody have a chance to take a look at the minutes? Move to approve. Chief, could you uh, quiet the people down back there, please? <laughs> second. <laughs> Got a motion, second to approve. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's approved. Uh, approved claims in the amount of twelve million five hundred and twenty thousand fourteen dollars and eighty three cents. Of this, over eleven million is for the tax payments for February. That mm. one's been mailed already, and the other to be delivered tomorrow. Okay. Move to approve. Second. Got a motion, second to approve. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Aye. Motion's approved. Discussion and possible action to approve the base bid from the Haas Sun, Sons Inc. in the amount of $1,287,036.39 for the Third Hill, I'm sorry, for the Third Street Hill Improvement Project. Good evening, Finance Committee. Mike Moraz, Director of Public Works. This is the project that we looked to do last summer but had to postpone it due to high uh, bid pricing. Uh, we held a bid opening here earlier on this, this year, January 31st and uh, Hassan's was the stated low bid um, in the amount that the mayor stated. Uh, this is in line with what the construction estimate work was in the issue sheet. I, the, the engineer's estimate was $1,199,692.50. So probably looking at approximately $87,000, $88,000 over the construction estimate. Considering all things that happened last season, I, I took that as a win with this big of a project. We do have money uh, appropriated to, to do this project. Uh, one of them is a, a grant that we received, a LRIP grant for 493500 We also have money that we had earmarked last year, which we carry over to this year. We added some money to the CIP for 2023 to do this project. Then we have some utilities and special assessments costs. So um, in the issue sheet, you know, we're right in line. We have approximately $16,000 in funds available than what the project is scheduled to come in at, at approximately 1.6 million by the time you add all the engineering costs and inspection costs, so on and so forth. So with that all being said, uh, Public Works Committee recommended approval of the base bid. Can I get a flavor of what the Public Works discussed as far as not adding the cement to the project? I was going to address that myself, and I, 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 I'd like to hear more from, from you too, but um, I was concerned about that as well, and so I looked into it, and I did watch the Public Works Committee, and I don't, sure. I, di I didn't hear much on the on, on the, the the concrete versus the asphalt. Well, as typical, we take the advice of okay. our professionals, which you know, city engineer as well as public works director, and uh, I actually did get a chance to speak with the. Uh, engineer Andrew Olson who represents which is Bol it Bolton and Mink Bolton and Mink at uh, bid opening I happened to attend that at the end of January uh, just because I was very anxious to see what this bid would come in at it's such an important project and he himself mentioned as the designer that he favored the asphalt partly because of how it winters here in our weather mm -hmm. and uh, maybe uh, the pavement warms up a little bit easier to avoid that black ice sort of situation where something might freeze thaw on the surface and also maybe just more durable i don't know what else would you comment on it I, so i talked to andrew this afternoon myself oh, did you? Because, okay. yes sure what was his feedback to you similar information i think that um so so randy to address your question with what i looked at was you know i was concerned all right concrete is going to be more durable you know are we being penny wise and dollar foolish here by not investing in, in concrete and um part of what andrew said was that the concrete well okay so both asphalt and concrete are going to be there's going to be concerns with the the salt um degrading them sure. the concrete would probably last longer but the um the asphalt would be better for the winter because of the um uh, and i talked to mike moraz about this as well and and he said because of the um the sun on the the pavement would help to to melt that and one thing that he brought up that or that andrew brought up um that uh i hadn't heard was that that would with the asphalt we'd probably save a lot of salt because of that melting and 
Um, I don't know that the that would make that big of a difference as far as financially, but it would certainly prevent a lot of salt from running off into the river, which to me is important as well. Yeah. Um, and then he said, you know, it, with so I was concerned. All right, you know, with this 1.3 million dollar project. You know, we're saving 109,000 by not doing this. You know, would that really, would we be saving money when, in the long run, the concrete should last longer? And he said, it really isn't. This part of the project is not that the most expensive part of the project. He said, this part is like 300 to 500 thousand dollars. The rest of it is the expensive part, um, putting in that retaining wall. And so he said that, um, yeah, the concrete might last longer, but you're really not getting that much more for the money. Um, it would extend it, uh, you know, it could, you know, well, if, if the city takes care of everything equally, you know, asphalt versus concrete, the concrete would last a little bit longer, but it, it probably wouldn't be that financially um, being for the block it, type. It's advantageous. Short, it's a short segment, too. It's not the entire stretch of yeah. road that we're talking. It's up around the corner. So yes. you'd go from asphalt to a short chunk of concrete back to asphalt. And it's just, there's reasons yes. why we recommend it going with just bituminous pavement. And then I talked parts. to Erin <laughs> and yep. asked her questions. And um, and she said that uh, that the the savings um, would help. If, if, we, if we use the money in this project, then there would be less money for um, Laurel Avenue heading east. <laughs> One of my thoughts was like, at first, ah, let's just do the cement. We're not that far off on numbers. Mm -hmm. But the other one is, if you remember on 2nd Street, how we had the cement down there. Well, I don't want to get into the 2nd Street yeah. project. Yeah. <laughs> but once the, when you do those cement, joints are going to blow every time. Yep. And at the same time, if we were to redo the underground utilities, we would have to cut into the cement and then therefore creating unnecessary joints, mm -hmm. which ultimately would fail over time. Yeah, you get those blowouts and da -dun, da -dun, when you do try to repair yeah. them. Yeah. I didn't have the opportunity to watch me, so I was just kind of wondering sure. what the conversation Well, I think was. Joyce had made a good summary of it, and certainly the asphalt, we also have a regular maintenance program that we would be applying to that <laughs> street as well. And certainly, yes, the major cost is to get that uh, retaining wall rebuilt. Yes. <laughs> and you know that is why we had to bring in an outside structural engineer to do that plan, because it is very challenging location and absolutely good point choice about the, any salt water. I mean, that's an ancient hillside, uh, you know, where things can run off, you know, longstanding um, there. And we don't want, you know, any salt water to run down. It would certainly access the river fairly readily. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think if you're right about that. Using the salt seems like a great option. So. Well, the other question was, can we straighten it up a little bit here and there? I know that it adds costs and there's some uh, land type issues that come into play, but just, you know, straighten it a little bit. I know Dean did look into that, and like you said, Randy, it's, it comes down to right away. If we were to try and straighten out, we'd have to almost like add fill to one side and build it up, and then there's that existing concrete wall that little two footer that goes along like a hundred foot there what do you do with that i know dean did look at it and, and from my conversation with him it, it didn't make financial sense it wouldn't fit within our current budget by any means because they got all the dozers and the graders there maybe just yeah. skin a little bit off of the sand <laughs> or something <laughs> yeah yeah are you suggesting on um the, the uphill side. That the hill side. The hill side. Side, side. The hill Not side. where the right. wall would go. Okay, Because okay. I understand that. Yeah. I know. Adding, but, you know, just a couple, a foot or so, maybe straighten a little bit here and there. I, I don't know. I'll run the bulldozer. <laughs> <laughs> By dark of night or what? <laughs> I'll move to approve. Now second. The motion is second to approve. Any further discussion? So we're approving the... Uh, On point two. The base, the base bid for with yeah. that. Anybody else? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion's approved. Discussion possible action to accept the bid from Allied uh, Blacktop Company in the amount of $784,719.60 for the 2023 street maintenance project. 
So that same morning, we held a bid opening for a street maintenance project. This includes items such as crack filling, flex patching, seal coating, fog sealing, and then striping those roads that are chip sealed. Uh, we had three bidders, uh, which was which is good. It's a good thing for for the city to get some you know outside firms uh, bidding on these projects for us. The low bid was Allied Blacktop Company. This is the same company that did our. Uh, street maintenance project last year, so we're very confident with the work that they do. Very professional, have enough flaggers and safety staff. They did Cooley, which is one of the harder roads in town, so, and we didn't get very many calls on it, so which I was pretty impressed by. Um, so the, the low bid, uh, which is what the mayor stated, $784,719.60. We do have $880,000 allocated in the CIP for this project. So, the Dean's numbers that he had put together, um, his engineer's estimate was 805,221. So the, the bid came in underneath the engineer's estimate. Um, the engineering design inspection are approximately 97,000. So needless to say, we have $880,000 earmarked for this project. The total estimated expenditures are $881,919.60. So we're right, we're we're really close, so kudos to Dean for putting together a, a pretty accurate estimate. So, um, following conversation at Public Works Committee, uh, recommended for approval. Low, low bid to Allied Blacktop Company. Move to approve. Second. Motion and second to approve. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's approved. Uh, I don't have anything. Anybody? Move to adjourn. Second. Motion second to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's approved. We stand adjourned. Thanks, everybody.